In this video, I'm going to show you some of my London Underground stuff. I actually have London, London Underground signed somewhere, but I don't know where I've put it. But I'm going to show you some of my latest Underground merch and some of my earliest as well. So I'm going to show you some things I have. First off, we're going to start with the newest item. Well, actually, no, let's not start with the newest item. I'm going to start with these. These are my 1992 sock models. I got, I believe I got one in 2008, one in 2010. It was one of the very first times I visited London. And as you can see, these are the nine models of the, of the 1992 stock. They actually look really accurate to the real train itself. I think they're a really accurate looking model. And although the 1992 stock is not my favourite tube stock, I do still like them. I forgot the front. They've got the details, but they ain't painted. And they are really, really cool. And I will think I'll hold on to forever. And um, you can actually connect them, but it's a bit of a pain. The coupling system on them is a bit of a pain, and some of the couplings have actually gone missing. But you can connect them somehow, but I just find it's... I just find it a bit... A bit, you know... A bit hard to couple up. But I do think they just make it good display models. So those are just for two 1992 stock models. Now we have the um, Waterloo and City Line Class White 2 slash 1992 stock. This one has more detail than these two, however it has a different logo. This one, I'm not too sure of the two made these. It's just some generic toy brand I'd say. As you can see there, you've got the made, they're made in China sadly. They've got this one, oh, before I move on to that, actually, in fact, this one, this one here, it's actually got a little, has actually got a little mark on it. I don't know if there could be a date code in there or something, there might be, but I think that's pretty cool. It's just, oh, my dog's going to give me some fuss. Right, the next item I'm going to show you is the glass white too. It's a bit hard because I'm... Because my lovely dog has come to give me some fuss during the video. Asia, <laughs> now's not the time, buddy. Right. Right. Moving on to the class white two. What new in City Line nineteen ninety two stock. So as you can see, as I was as I was interrupted then, or probably interrupted myself to be honest. Um, it's got, it's got all the details, right, as you can see here, it looks accurate to the 1992 stock, but it's got a blue front. Anyone getting classified to two vibes here? I certainly am. As you can see, it has got a bit of what people call the toy love. As you guys can see, looking at the back here, yeah, there are the, the occasional paint scuffs there, here and there. These toys are well loved. And yeah, this one is made by Real Toy. Again, made in China, sadly. Now I'm going to move on to this weird thing. This I purchased last year for the London Transport Museum, and I find it really weird because it's like an S stock and a 1992 stock combined into one. <clears throat> it is nowhere near as well made as these. Also, if you wonder how I got this one, one of my teachers got me this before I left Feezy Park Farm Primary School. To move into to move into Queensbury. That's a bit of history for, from about myself. Um, this one is like I said, it's 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 really weird because it's got like um, from the front it's got S stock vibes, but from the side it's got like 
things about it like, from a 1992 stock. It's like really weird. F stocks usually have split windows. It's like weird. And also the driving wheels. They're like in the middle between like these these are actually dummy wheels, they're not they're fake. The actual driving wheels are here. Again, obviously made in China. This was made when the time um during that um during the time that um the UKCA mark was introduced, so, which if you don't know what that stands for, you United Kingdom conformity assessed. Actually, it's the it's replacing the C mark in the UK at some point. But yeah, it's like it's like a weird crossover between like a S stock and a nineteen ninety two stock. I find it really weird. Now onto the coolest item of the bunch, I'd say it is this from my favourite tube stock of all time. The nine the nine, my nineteen ninety six stock Jubilee line door open button. This is from my favourite tube stock, by the way. This is actually a real thing. And these buttons are actually, believe it or not, made by Dewhurst. Now, Alex said these look like bacon. I don't think they look, look like bacon. I just think they look like 3D arrows. You can see how the plastic's gone brittle due to age. You can see it's got a, um, it's got a few on them there has rubbed off due to, due to age I'd say it's type RTL what a 94L I know many people have got these buttons and these are actually similar to the lift buttons that that um that are used in the 1996 stock well, actually they are the 1996 button nice 96 stock buttons the 995 stock also use these Dewhurst buttons, and yeah, it's got a nice click to it. The ones on the 1992 stock are actually the same as the buttons used in lifts, believe it or not. This one's that's how I was saying, just the um, buttons contacts are slightly different, but it's still like the same Dewhurst button that you get in. Um, no, the, it's still the same buttons you get in lifts, it's the same sort of design. I really like these US Jumbo buttons, they're fantastic. I'm not too sure what this cover's made out of, it looks like aluminium. I don't know what it is made out of. But it's got a big plastic back, where all the, all the internals are. This item I begged my parents for, I had to get it. I don't know where the box for this is now, it's somewhere. But yeah, and now introducing the newest item to my section. Well, actually, I purchased this before I got. I purchased this before I got the S stock, the 1992 stock crossover thing. Is this my little un, my little London Underground coaster? This is a magnetic coaster that sticks to items. I don't think it sticks to this, does it? stick to that i think it actually does stick but yeah this is a london underground coaster and i'm not gonna put drinks on this because i think it's too nice to be spoiled and it's a keepsake item if i put drinks on this it would probably stain it but yeah it's a magnetic coaster there's the information about it. it is actually a licensed product and not a knockoff believe it or not Green Underground Magnetic Coaster. There's all the information if you want to guys pause, pause to read that now if you want. But yeah, this is all of my London Underground items that I've got. Ranging from toy slash models of the 1992 stock and the S stock to coasters. To do <coughs> to an actual button off a train. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching this video and bye guys for real.